Hey there, guys. How's it going? Uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about something that gets discussed a lot, which is keyboard and mouse versus controller, um, but not in the normal way. You know, everyone's always keyboard and mouse is better, everything else. One thing that's not discussed as often is how hard it is for someone who's used to one to go to the other. Uh, for years, decades, I was a console gamer. I was extremely used to keyboard and mouse, or I mean, sorry, controller. And the other part of this that's a little weird is I was an inverted player. It just felt normal to me. That was the way I was used to. Um, maybe that plays a role in this, but when I went to keyboard and mouse, I had a very difficult time. But now I've been playing keyboard and mouse for at least five years exclusively. Barely touch controllers outside of like Rocket League, but for shooters, pretty much never. So never really dual joysticking. And we basically struggled for for at least a year to get to where we felt like we were actually really good with keyboard and mouse. So now with Modern Warfare out and it's crossplay, if you are using a controller, you can get into controller only lobbies, which so I have some friends who are console players and we wanted to play with them and we wanted to have they're not new to gaming, but they haven't gamed in a long time. They they haven't had a game that they've picked up. Um, so we didn't want them to, we wanted them to have as easy an experience as possible, a nice intro. So we picked up the controllers and decided to give it a go with them. And it is worse <laughs> than when we switched over to keyboard and mouse. So that's what this is going to be is a look at how that went for us. Just how frustrating. It's pretty funny to see someone struggle to play games when usually they're not bad at all. Uh, so check it out. One of the other kind of caveats to this is Modern Warfare also has a supposedly has a skill based matchmaking. And I think this video kind of proves that um, the first two games were crushing like bad. And then we had I had a peak and kind of leveled off around, you know, a little bit over a 1.0 kill death ratio. So that's really interesting, too. Um, even though my aim didn't get much better, my in-game performance got considerably better. So anyways, enjoy my struggle. I'm going to get rocked. I oh, it's going to be so rough. Yeah, but Colin and I are playing on Xbox controllers, which we haven't done in years. Like I can't describe to you how different keyboard and mouse is. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Right? I was just thinking the same thing. It's like, I don't know what buttons to hit. Like, how do I sprint? Push in on the joystick? Enemy at the oh my god, I can't aim up and down correctly. No, but both ways are going to feel wrong, Colin. I've been through this rigmarole. I am right now, too. Okay, oh god, it still feels wrong. How is that possible that both ways feel wrong? Friendly UAV overhead. I gotta, I gotta switch off inverted. That, ugh. Oh my god, this is so bad! Oh. I know, I'm, I'm gonna, oh. How are you so terrible at a video game? That's not your style. Okay, just shoot the guy, please, Kyle. It was a simple request. My right thumb just can't do it, man. It's impossible. You playing inverted? I So I used to always game inverted. And then I started playing exclusively keyboard and mouse. And now neither inverted or regular feel right. I got a kill. I got a kill. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. He got into the tank right as I was going to kill him. Oh, this is so much harder. Like, the aiming is just so much easier. Oh, yeah. Because you move a mouse to, you know, it's like clicking on something. It's point and click. This is you, you swing a joystick and you hope that your aiming gets there, you know, within a certain amount of time before you're dead. This tank is definitely about to run me over. It did. You suck. With the I know John Allen you're not like giving me news here god I used to be so freaking good with a controller too that's the part that is hilarious
Screw you guys who can aim with a controller. Yeah, that's me. Last death. Running around with like a chicken with his head cut off. 0.21 killed death. Oh. 0 0.21, 0 0.11, 0, 0.0. You got Blutarski's GPA going there. I was pretty confident it was going to be harder than this even. Like, I'm surprised I got kills there. Right, that's my concern is that if I play this enough, I'll suck dick again with keyboard and mouse. Do you remember how hard it was to learn keyboard and mouse call? Oh my god, clip that. That's amazing right there. This is a prime example of how terrible I am with... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is the saddest thing. I just swung my gun straight up into the air as a guy ran directly at me. Just right at the sky. I just ran by a bad guy. That's not something I would do normally. I have a kill. This is ugly. I couldn't shoot him in the calves enough to kill him. All my shots are at his calves. Uh, lots of kill. Oh, that's kill number two. Fear the dire wolf. He's on a roll now, folks. Uh, frustrating thing. Oh, dear. I'm just working on, like, holding my aim in certain areas. Like, I can't even walk and point my gun where I intend to at the same time. It's like, you know, can you walk and chew gun? No, I literally cannot. I was 3 and 12. That is a slight improvement. I went from a 0.21 to a 0.25 kill death. So, if everybody who complains on the internet is right, within a few games here, we should start playing some potatoes like us. So... I just got two kills without dying. Oh, baby. That is three kills without dying. Oh, that's four. I got a UAV. Oh, yes. This aim assist is way better, buddy. Thank you for figuring that out. I still would not call myself good by any stretch of the imagination. You'll still have that cluster strike when you come back, though. That was beautiful shooting, Kyle. Reloading. Just point it somewhere. It's so hard to get kills with the cluster strike, in my opinion. Yes, I'm getting kills finally. This feels so much better. Woo! Take a seat, Kingslayer. Or King. Ah! Well, that was awful. Ha! I took out a uh, Claymore, so I think we're good. Behind us, calm behind us. I got him, I got him. I had a 3.0 kill death ratio after being 0 0.21, 0 0.25. Oh, I just got a double kill with a grenade up there. Oh, that was the worst spray and pray I've ever seen in my life. This is just skill. Holy shnit! Ah, oh my god. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing I wanted to point out was something I talked about a little bit was the skill-based matchmaking. Here you can see my games from last night, or I mean the Euphrates Bridge bottom right is my last game I played with keyboard and mouse. 3.2 kill death ratio. And then I jumped in uh, with the controller. 0 0.21, 0 0.25. And then it was like something switched. After just two games, 
I don't think that I was aiming that much better. We did find that there was a setting to change the aim assist to be a little bit more helpful when aiming down sights. And that certainly did help. But you saw in the clips, I still wasn't good. And I was getting 3.0 and then averaging out around one. I had that 0.67. But I mean, that's the anomaly. Like the 3.0 and the 6.7 are on the high and low. The rest, you know, sitting right around, you know, a little over one. Uh, so I think that is definitely some evidence for it. Obviously, it's a very small sample size, but kind of interesting. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, informative. If you have a chance, give it a try playing out uh, the way you don't currently. It uh, is eye-opening. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys in the stream in the future. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the YouTube comments. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not, hit the like button. I'll talk to you later.